A special good afternoon to each and everyone here. Distinguished Chief Guest of the 11th Convocation of JNTU Hyderabad, Dr. Krishna Swami Kasturi Rangan, Chancellor of Central University of Rajasthan and NIT University Rajasthan. And wonderful speech, sir. And moreover, your experience gave us so much of inputs so that we also should practice not only by seeing you more than 80 years, you are traveling, you are reading, you are researching. So that is a great lesson we learned by seeing you. <laughs> Professor Katar Ranasimha Reddy, the Vice Chancellor, who has uh, very proudly mentioned each and every achievement of your university. So the achievements are more. So you have to take more time because when the achievements are more, we won't be able to precise it. So I really appreciate it. Even though we have excelled the time almost one hour ahead, we are running. And I am uh, very happy to wish all the members of the Executive Council, Academic Senate, members of the faculty and staff, donors of endowment gold medals, invitees, learned colleagues, recipients of degrees, gold medals, and their proud parents, guests, ladies and gentlemen, press media friends, my security personnel and my office brothers. It's indeed very happy to attend this convocation, 11th convocation. And you have learned from the chief guest address, and we also have given the address printed. You can read that. I am not talking on that because uh, we are running out of time. And I want to mention few things. You are all students of technology. And technology each and every day through research or innovation, we are seeing the advancement of technology. So we have to compete. Technology students, you have to compete with technology. And I was asking one student, what these exams taught you? He told, the exam taught me for three hours, I can sit without my cell phone. So that is the reason lesson learned. Because technology is taking much of our time. It's a double-edged sword. And we are moving so fast and making the students, the students, whether they have to be successful, facing the challenges outside, facing the challenges in their house, facing the challenges in the society, facing the challenges in the environment. So we can say the government is providing with you with education, research activities, and so much of opportunities. But unless you improve your capability and capacity to utilize it and making yourself happy, you cannot utilize those facilities. So my request is, whom you should succeed, you should succeed yourself. Because it is very disheartening to know that some of the students are committing suicide. Please enjoy learning. Whatever may be the situation, definitely the present situation is more challenging. When I was taking class in a medical college, some 10 years back, there was a lighter moment in my class when I was telling, okay students, tomorrow is the exam, today you have learnt everything about your subjects and if you have any doubt please ask me one of the student stood up and asked madam where the question papers are printed it was a joke previously but it is a reality now very disheartening so we have to face all the challenges students we have to put all our efforts and our ground situation, even in the house, 
there is no any level playing field each one may face so many challenges i appreciate your parents so many proud parents have come over here and sitting there to see their children getting the medals their children getting the phds even the elder students also their mothers have come their fathers have come because of their sacrifices we are all sitting here so each and every day morning we have to thank god and we have to thank our parents and i should appreciate the vice chancellor of jnt university and professor kasturi rangan also mentioned that for giving a very light convocation dress <laughs> not heavy convocation dress because coming to convocation is not a matter but the thought of wearing the heavy convocation dress sitting for hours that is the most painful situation so making us happy about this light convocation dress because we have to indigenous everything and as i said the challenges we face in the houses in a lighter sense one day i was asking i one teacher was telling me i was asking one student why you came late then he was telling my both parents were fighting okay what's the matter for you let them fight why didn't you come why did you come late no my mother was having one of my shoe my father was having one of my shoe so i was unable to take my uniform to come over here even though it uh, sounds very light what all the challenges we face in the houses so i appreciate the parents for giving a very harmonious situation in the family and making you all to come up in your life with good education but how unless we enjoy the education everyone can give lectures oh this is giving this air advancement is there okay we are moving forward but unless you enjoy your education and utilize it for your development there is no use for example i am a doctor and uh, i was uh, practicing but now i am working as a chancellor and governor but whatever may be the activity some of them told used to tell you you wasted your degree and now you are roaming here and there with <laughs> but i used to tell what all the experience which i gained during my medical profession i was treating the students now i can treat the society so that is really useful a single doctor can treat the patient but a doctor of this teacher can treat the society but at the same time here i appreciate so many girl students are here so it is a challenge even today i always narrate this recently i went to auroville i am a member in the development committee of auroville you know it's puducherry and when we had a meeting like this the students the teachers and some of the kindergarten students all came so french students are there you know so when i entered the hall the secretary called me oh governor you come one small guy he must be 5 to 6 years he kept his uh, hand in his hip and asked who is governor then she told she is the governor i cannot believe why you cannot believe girls can be governor i cannot believe girls can be governor so that's a small boy was telling that it it, it came in facebook and it went on viral so why i am telling that even the society now even child is not accepting certain things so in gender bias also that's in gender basis also because we are celebrating our uh, uh, international women's day but what all the opportunities we have even today i always say as chancellor our jntu was chancellor also knows 3 years back before corona i conducted a meeting vice chancellor meeting and they were very happy that now women students outnumber the male students but i asked what all the subjects they select very few because this is a technological university but generally they select only some arts group very rarely they select science group or no, not if they select science or research groups high technology groups because society don't allow them to go for research activities their time constraint is there for to look after the family so most of them even if they take the subjects because most of the subjects are taken 
to say that to the bridegroom's house, uh, she is a graduate or she is a postgraduate. It should not be like that because we have to move forward in research activities. For that, we have to utilize. Today, you are all with convocation and two things you have to focus. One is wealth and one is health. Wealth, you have to look for the opportunities, how your job opportunities, as our Honorable Prime Minister says, because you are all technological students, don't always be job seekers, but be as job givers. Because the government has come out with so much of schemes. For example, startup schemes. This year, 90,000 startup schemes have been started in India. And particularly be before the industries and the startup schemes were only in the cities. But now, even the villages, now G20. We have conducted some of the, even in uh, Puducherry, we conducted the G20 in a peripheral place. Because nowadays the opportunities are there in the village areas also. So grab the opportunities. I always say, because I, I have cited the uh, chief guest and uh, how he is so fit and energetic. I always say, no, don't only count the current currencies, please count the calories also. We may learn so many things, but not caring about the health also. Health means not only physical health, mental health. Now I want, whenever, wherever I go, I want the students should be physically fit as well as mentally fit. A statistic says, out of 100 students, 60 are under depression. Whatever may be the cause. No, the teacher is not teaching properly. That is one time. Now I am unable to relate. In a lighter sense, I was asking in a class, one student was telling, why you slept off? Teacher asked, why you slept off? Then the student told, Madam, your voice is so sweet, so I slept off. Then the teacher asked, why others are not sleeping? They are not listening to you, Madam. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, it is not like that. So that mental, physical fitness should be there. Enjoy the moment, whatever may be. So my request is, we can come out with great degrees, research activities, but without personal happiness, and with, without personal health, without physical fitness, and without uh, mental fitness, everything is useless. You can see whatever may be the situation, I will be laughing. That is one of the medicine. As a doctor, I can say, whenever you have some difficulties, laugh it out. Even everyone, you, you don't think that governor is not having any problem. Governor is having more problems. But we have to move forward. Because our aim is to achieve greater things. Our aim is to serve the society. So be like a hard rock. Whatever may be the challenges. So personal happiness, personal health, and then move towards how to acquire health, wealth. Our Honorable Prime Minister says, by 2025, we have to attain 7 trillion economy. Everyone asks, after 70 years of independence, we attain only 5 trillion economy. But now we are telling we have to attain 7 trillion economy. How it could be possible? Then Prime Minister says, always set hard targets. Move towards it. With conviction and consistency, you will achieve. So that is the message today. So always be happy. Whether you have got gold medal, be happy. If you didn't get gold medal, oh, you came for the exams. So be happy. In the lighter sense, I was reading one of the article. One of the person, academician has written, what is the mindset of the students now? In two, 1990s, Answer all questions. In 2002s and all, either answer uh, five among these questions. Then 2006 and all, at uh, that, that period, answer either A or B. Then 2015, read all the questions. Then 2020, thanks for coming to the examinations. So the exam is going in such a challenging situation. So we have to read, we have to write, and we have to learn, and we have to keep all our commitment, and we have to serve the society, and we have to serve our 
country at the same time we have to serve our families they have dedicated their time and energy for you how you are going to reciprocate think that you have to reciprocate the love and affection to the teachers to the parents and i always appeal apart from reading your subject please read about our freedom fighters today it was very very disheartening to go and pay homage to colonel reddy who was the pilot army pilot and he lost his life in an accident so morning today i was little late because i went there to pay homage the family was so disheartening it was see so disheartening to see the family grieved family and two children four and two years the second child came to me and she refused to go i am going to rajbhav when she was telling so these all the things they didn't know so many flowers in our house why the child was asking so so many people youngsters are guarding our borders think about them so whatever may be the degree the medals the phd's please utilize properly so that you should be happy and the society should be happy you should develop and the society should develop so from today we will spread that aura of happiness everywhere that is my message thank you so much